calls for women to consider careers in digital energy. Now, one of the leaders in the sector says they should capitalize on the current energy crisis and use it as a catalyst. On the 28th of October, women will gather in Soweto to participate at the Women in Digital Energy Summit. And the summit's founder, Tamima Se, says they hope to bring job creation and economic growth, especially for women in business. And she joins us live now to tell us more about this particular initiative. Tammy, thank you so much for your time and a good afternoon to you. Quite exciting to see, I think at the heart of this summit, inclusivity, women being included in as far as uh, digital energy is concerned. But you are in a better position to explain the initiative for us. Take us through it. Um, I can't hear you, uh, Tammy, if you could just please unmute yourself. I think you may still be muted. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me and good afternoon. Well, we are actually living in very interesting times where the energy has left Africa in the dark. And right now we are saying as women, it is our time to get up and rebuild this economy. And now we cannot deny the fact that the whole world is moving towards the digital economy and the digital spaces. So we need to get up and really rise this continent. And all, all industries and all sectors are anchored by energy. We have seen the energy crisis affecting businesses in South Africa, not only in our country, but in the entire continent. So now the purpose of this summit is to bring awareness into uh, everyone, especially women. We would like to see women participating in the energy space because women are the ones who utilize energy more and they are builders. We are of the concept that women are builders and it is now time for women to start building. So this summit is bringing awareness into the digital energy space, not only energy, because right now we are focusing more on the energy. And while we are doing that, we are ignoring the very important element in the digital space because uh, we need to be able to combat this problem that we are having today, where we are able to see the problems right into the future and we are able to um, overcome that. Yeah. And, and I suppose the hope for you as an organization, as an initiative, Tammy, I mean, is to uh, stimulate economic growth, job creation. I think that's why it makes it exciting that its debut uh, is in Soweto, because oftentimes even the demographics are marginalized. Uh, such initiatives are launched in the metros, in the suburban areas, those in the rural communities, township uh, economies often excluded. Why was it important, though, for you to debut this initiative in the heart of the Southwestern Township? Over the years, township economy has been ignored and uh, we are ignoring the very important element of building the economy because the economy is built by numbers, it is built by financial resources. And when we ignore the numbers in our townships, we are ignoring the very important element of building our economy. So why we are doing this is we want to be inclusive when it comes to those who are marginalized, those uh, pockets of our society that have been forgotten, we are saying to them, it is time that we bring the numbers in and start building an economy. And now the awareness is needed more than ever before because the future of, of Africa is digital. And now if we are ignoring the, the, the very vast number that makes the economy, then we are really missing the mark. So one of the reasons we are one having the summit in, in, in Soweto in the township and also introducing our first digital energy project in Soweto we want to bring in women especially from the township where we are saying now we are creating jobs and we want them to be active participants in the digital economy because that's where the world is going right now. Mm. And I think this is quite groundbreaking. I mean, if I understand correctly, it's the first ever women-led and uh, women-focused digital energy summit in the entire continent of Africa. What opportunities lie here uh, for women in digital energy, Tammy, but also for women investors? 
Um, starting with the women investors, what we have done is we are launching a project um, in Soweto, which will talk to the solar uh, harvesting opportunity and also the data center opportunity. Remember, when we're talking digital, we're talking people going into their mobile phones, their devices, using them to um, get into the opportunities, businesses, and, and, and all of that. So what we are trying to do is before we can even build an economy, we need to make sure that people are aware. In Africa, we have 84% of our population who are having mobile phones, but what are they doing with their mobile phones? So what we are saying is now, because everything is, is going digital, energy on its own will be harvested transmitted and consumed using digital devices. First of all, I just want to explain the way the way digital energy, what it means. Mm. Um, we understand that the ESCOM energy right now, it is harvested from, from fossil fuels, which is coal. And coal is something that's tangible, something that you can touch. And uh, now harvesting energy from coal is very different from harvesting energy from the sun, because the sun we cannot touch. We cannot touch the wind. So you use te you need technologies to harvest that. And not only using technologies to harvest that, but you need to be able to, 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 to collect and control the data for all the years in our country, especially in our continent. We've been exporting our numbers through your Facebook, your Twitter, all these social media uh, platforms. It is now time to start closing our ears from the noise and build our own platform where we will be able to be in control of our data because data is big business nowadays, especially in the digital spaces. So the project that we are launching in Soweto talks to that, where we are able to man manage and control our data. And not only that, we have already built a platform uh, that is a super all-in-one multi-featured platform. It's a digital platform. It's a social social media platform called Rollit. And now what we plan to do with Rollit is we are upgrading now into Web3, into the metaverse using the blockchain technology. And when we get there, that's where we want our women to be. We want our women to be in those spaces where they will uh, be part of pioneering um, technologies that are going to be very instrumental in the industrialization of our continent. And that's what we talk about when we refer to inclusivity, Tammy. And thank you so much for speaking to me about this a groundbreaking uh, initiative, this platform, Rolled It, but also uh, making it debut where you will launch it out in Soweto. So all women, of course, uh, who are keen to be investors as well, businesswomen, are called to be included and to participate uh, in the Africa Digital Energy Summit to be hosted in Soweto. All my thanks to Tammy Massey.